Hello and welcome to Discovering Gray's Lake, unveiling the stories and people that make our town so unique. I'm your host, David Wool, and I'm thrilled to bring you this new podcast that explores fascinating stories and experiences of local business owners and community leaders right here where we call home. Gray's Lake Rehabilitation Center is a community-based private practice physical therapy provider. Do you know they have 13 clinical providers with various levels of specialties, including orthopedics, sports, neurology, vestibular, geriatrics, pelvic floor, and aquatic? What? Did I just say they have a pool? Well, they do, and it's the largest indoor warm water pool in Lake County, featuring two underwater treadmills and swim currents, and recently added clinical treatment specialties, in layman's terms, shockwave. They have both radial and focus units that are the newest tool in regenerative medicine, available to everyone. They pride themselves on the most current and up-to-date specialized care to keep you moving. If you're looking for physical therapy, make sure to see our friends at Grays Lake Rehabilitation. Good morning, Grays Lake. Welcome back to another episode of Discovering Grays Lake. We're recording here live from Agora, which is on the corner of Center Street and Atkinson. They're so kind to let us record from here. Um, Agora is a cool working space, so if you need a place to get out of the house for a day, for a month, or a forever home for your business, it's a great place. Uh, Luke's a great dude, so um, come on over and chat with him if you have any needs to get your business out of the house. Um, I'm fortunate enough today to have Victoria here, Victoria Casper, is that correct? Yes. All right. And Victoria has a new business in town called Victoria's Floral. Yes. Floral or florist? Floral. Floral. See? Yes. We're not doing so bad so far. I, no. I remember that much. Yes. So, I'm a full service florist, though. Excellent. Okay. So, um, A, I know the grand opening is on July 11th. That's correct. Um, So when we're July 11th, 2024, because people listen back to these um, as years go on. So first of all, congratulations on opening your shop. Thank you. Um, So what leads you to have a floral business in Grace Lake? So my dad was a florist, um, so I learned everything from him. I was almost literally born inside of his shop. Water broke and everything, barely got to the hospital in time. Oh, gosh. Um totally grew up there doing everything he did copying him wow okay so you've had a love for being in the floral industry since you've been younger i did yes he just wasn't ready to let go of his shop so i went off to college did the whole corporate america thing and always had a passion for flowers and floral designing Uh, my daughters have always pulled me into it our garden our vases at home Um, doing things for friends and family on the side. And when I saw the space open, I called my husband and I said, I think I'm going to do it. And he said, I was waiting for this moment. Nice. (laughs) So he knew knew that that's what you wanted to do. He did. Yeah. I love it because uh, just a little backstory. So we were walking downtown Crazy Lake and I saw you guys like setting up and getting getting shop ready. So of course me, I just opened the door to say hello. Um, and you're in there with you and your husband and your girls. Yes. Yeah. It's really it's really kind of a cool vibe to have all of the everybody's involved in it, right? It's a family business. We're always together trying to do things together. We want to bring them along with us. Okay, so what kind of ideas do the girls bring to the table? Everything. I actually have one uh, sitting here with me right now. Yes. And I'm, I'm glad you joined us today too. Um, so okay, so what are you? What, are you excited about this? Or the grand opening coming up? Yes. Okay. What is your name too, so everybody knows who we're talking to? Abby O'Casper. Abby. Um, yeah. So Abby, are you excited for grand opening? Get everything going? Yes. And uh, you guys have some special events planned too. Why don't you help us and tell us like what your first one is going to be? Um, I mean, we're gonna help with like doing like classes for like little kids, for like like holidays and stuff for like their parents and um that's really cool so do you help with the ideas to do that yeah i mean i try to help as much as i can nice so you guys get to you get to collaborate so tell tell us about what the um first class because it's a class right yes okay so what's the first class going to be um the first class we're going to have like little kids do um i think they're going to use i'm not 100 percent sure what they're called I think they're like little pom poms, and you put them in little like ice cream dish bases, and then you put like a little straw and like a little like fake cherry on top, and then um, like all the little kids are gonna have like a little coupon to go to the freeze afterwards. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, so what what age is this for? Do you, do you know what age, or what kind of people can come to this? Um, like three and up probably. Oh, so as young as three. That's great. It sounds like it's fun. So now, who comes to this? Is it um, like moms and daughters, or families and and kids? A little bit of everything. So it can be either or. It can be um, drop the children off, and you can go shop and enjoy the rest of downtown Grays Lake. Or you can stay and help them. Nice. Okay, so do you have a lot of things like this planned? Yes, we have a couple other things that we're going to be putting. We're going to try to do something probably every month. Um, Some months, maybe two or three activities. Because as she mentioned, we want to make sure that children have the experience of not only having hands-on, getting to do things, but also being able to contribute maybe a gift back to mom or dad, you know, for the special special yeah. times or even grandparents or somebody who provides care for them so just kind of giving them you know the hand and motor skills and then being able to walk away with something and that's cool too and you know we always talk about community and bringing things together it's nice that with that you can have the adults there the kids there and it's it's doing something creative at the same time absolutely it's almost like you're teaching them how you want to do stuff too <laughs> like it sounds like you're a very creative woman when it comes to things like that i try to be yes Okay, so there I, I've seen the need. You know, a lot of times when we, we've talked about things like if there was a new business, like what kind of business would we want to see in Grays Lake? And, and downtown Grays Lake, if I'm correct, there hasn't really been a, a, a florist with a storefront, so to say, um, for a very long time. That's what I've heard. Um, it's been several years since there's been a florist down there. Um, we've been definitely welcomed a lot by the community and said, you know, it's about time. We really needed this. We really want this. Um, so it's been amazing to be welcomed. Are you looking for a great time right in the heart of our awesome community? Well, look no further than the Grace Lake Village Center, your one-stop destinations for all things fun and fabulous. Picture this, historical downtown vibes with a mix of diverse businesses, an array of unique shops, and delicious restaurants. Many with outdoor seating with an option to soak up the sun or shade. But that's not all. The Village Center is where the action is. And just like the weather, it's definitely heating up. There are events that take place all year round for the whole family. But now, you'll even have more options. Fill up your calendar with things to do. Also, take a stroll through Central Park, Gelatin Park, surrounding trails, green spaces, and more activities to keep you and your friends and family active all summer long. And now that the weather is warming up, dive into the Aquatic Center. Open Memorial Day to Labor Day. But wait, there is more. Visit GraysLakeVillageCenter.com to discover an incredible lineup of events that are happening every month. Be in the know. Not sure what you're waiting for, so come on down, soak up the local vibes, and enjoy the experience that's unmistakably local and uniquely Grays Lake. Grays Lake Village Center, where the fun never stops. It's exciting. It's exciting to do. And you guys are taking a big leap of faith, too, to, to do this as a family as well. That's the thing that I think about it. Yes, absolutely. Everything is a family. Okay, so if people are looking for floral needs in Grays Lake, like what kind of things do you do? Is it just like a walk-in? Can they get a dozen roses there? Or is it for proms or weddings? Or what kind of things do you do? Everything. So, yes, you can walk in. Um, I typically don't like to have things made up in advance unless you have placed an order and you have a specific request. Um, I like to carry the most freshest product possible. Um, so I do have a small selection for somebody just walking in. They want to grab something to go home and bring home with them. Um, but I really love doing everything custom. So you kind of come in, you tell me what your color palette is, what you're looking for. Um, we can design based on what I have in my cooler if you need it that day. Or if you tell me exactly what you're looking for, a color scheme. Um, I can go to the market, get it fresh for you, you know, pretty much next day. Or if you want something even more extravagant, I can order and place you know well in advance and then make it even more special so everything is is custom I don't like having a lot of pre-made together I will for the holidays have you know some pre-mades obviously I can't do everything for everybody at once but um my goal is to make it custom so that way you have you know a collaboration you have a thought on it and it's, it's more special that way coming from from you or it it means more if it's well in your house versus me just choosing colors and having things ready to go. Absolutely. And I think the floral business has changed a little bit over the years now that, you know, the stores like Jewel and everything like that, that they're carrying a lot of floral things. So 
the yeah. the big advantage of coming to you is that you can have things custom made exactly how they want. Absolutely. Which is which is a cool thing to have. I think so. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, okay, so you're talking about your um, corporate back. I want to know a little bit about your background. Um, so I have a background in human resources, um, event planning, project management. Um, I've worked in the healthcare industry. I've done a lot. I've done finance. Um, so I've, I've done a lot. I have an undergrad in HR and an MBA in project management. Wow. So having that kind of, of diverse experience probably brings a lot to being an entrepreneur and starting your own. Which one of those things do you think have helped the most in your background? Oh, I mean both because HR really helps you focus on people and understand a person's needs and how to help them or um, pull the probing questions to understand, you know, what type of flowers they want, what kind of event they're planning, what kind of birthday party, what's the wedding going to look like, being able to help understand the actual person and what they desire. But then project management really ties within being able to focus on the event and how we get there for the timelines. So understanding what time the wedding starts at, when they need flowers delivered by to ensure that they stay the freshest. Um, is there any other piece that I can also help with within networking? Do you have a photographer? Do you have, you know, I have all of those connections um, from part of my corporate life that I've been able to bring so thankfully into my own right. business. So there's a lot of different skills and a lot of different things, especially about event planning. Yes. That's huge. Yes. Wow. Okay, so why why do you move the business to Grays Lake? My husband kind of grew up in Grays Lake. Um, we've always gone to a lot of the establishments in Grays Lake. It's very comforting and home-like for us. Um, it reminds me a lot of where my dad's shop was, even though he was in the city and it was a very busy area mm -hmm. um, off of Irving, it was still a lot of like your small mom and pop kind of shops, you know, that very home-like feeling. So even though he was on a large, busy street with a lot of traffic, it was very home-like. And downtown mm -hmm. Grays Lake, it's not a fast-moving street by far with the traffic, but it's very home-like. It's all smaller businesses that are, you know, family-owned. Right. And we always preach to shop local, which is which is fun because of all the different kind of things that we have. And it's so nice to see somebody come to Grace Lake with a different kind of business that we actually need. <laughs> Not putting down anything else that we have, um, but it is nice to have um, diversity there where they can walk down. And now we have a florist in town where everybody can get their stuff, which is which is very cool. Yes. Um, Okay, so how long have you been open? What was your official open date before I like intruded on you guys when you guys were like putting things together? It was around was it around Valentine's Day? -ish? No, Mother's no? Day. Mother's Day. Okay. <laughs> it was like a week before Mother's Day because I did a very soft, quiet opening of the doors just to kind of make sure POS system was running and everything was working before I kind of said, okay, I'm fully ready to go. Um, so I kind of wanted to do it very quietly. We're taking a quick break just to say hello because everybody knows Nano, and Nano knows real estate. And actually, I believe that's the name of her Instagram page. So if you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, or know somebody in the market for a home, contact Nano from Baird & Warner. She's a Grays Lake girl helping out Grays Lake people. Yeah, okay, so if people don't know where you're at, what was, do, do you know, what was the shop that was there before? Blush. Oh, so it was Blush, so when they moved. So that, yes. that's been empty since they moved down there? Yes. Wow. Okay, and how do you find the space? Just randomly walking by, or what's the story behind that? Oh, I don't know if my landlord wants me to tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> Even better when I want to hear it more now. <laughs> um, well, I noticed that Blush was no longer in there. Um, I was taking my daughter to ballet, actually, a dance connection down by Miss Bridget. And after our Saturday morning class, I said, Liliana, let's go down and visit Blush and let's see if we can find out who the landlord is knowing that they had just rented from them because right. there was no for rent sign no nothing at all on the on the door so sure enough I spoke to a young lady there um, and she was able to give me the landlord's information so I called I left him a voicemail no response back <laughs> so then I connected with a few other business owners um, in downtown Grays Lake that I know 
and I let them know that I was interested in this space. And some yeah. of them were already pushing me and telling me a long time ago to do this because they knew I was already designing things for friends and family. Um, they knew that we were kind of interested before COVID hit, and then we kind of just didn't do it. Um, maybe a blessing in disguise because I was pregnant during COVID anyway, so starting a business, being pregnant, probably would have been a lot. Uh, yeah, that would have been a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then some of them started helping look up who the landlord was and reaching out and trying to find you know information. Um, so then I called and left another voicemail. And then he still hadn't responded back to me just yet. So then I stalked him and looked on LinkedIn to find out <laughs> who oh, he was. You're doing and, your research. I yes, like this. Yes. <laughs> um, and then in the middle of me working some of my networking and stalking skills, <laughs> he then called me back um, <laughs> pretty Good. much within like an hour of me kind of stalking him. So it was kind of funny. Like, I don't know if he saw, I clicked on his LinkedIn um, or what it was, but he ended up calling me back. Um, we set up time to meet. We looked at the place. I liked it. I knew that I could totally see my, my business there, my shop there. Yeah. Um, and the rest is kind of history. Yeah. And it's a really nice space. It is. I mean, the location is obviously perfect. Anywhere on center like that is, is great. Because aren't you guys... You're very close to where Mona Ray is? Yes. Okay. Are you right our next neighbors? Door. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. We nice. share the same landlord. Nice. Yes. So you guys have a nice little thing there. That yes. It's nice to walk down there and see everybody that's there, and I think it's a great addition, especially with, with how many things are there and traffic from farmer's market to things like that. Um, yes. has to be a wonderful thing to help out as well. Yes, and I love the fact that it has a big window so I can do displays and, yeah. you know, um, and it's long, so that way we can set up the tables for classes. Um, we can have the shelving displays, which we have, like, a lot of different gifts and vases along, like, the walls with all the different shelves that we've put up. Um, so you will have stuff like that for sale. So if you're not just looking for flowers, there's other things that can be purchased there. Correct, yes. Okay, so vases, what other kind of things you'd be selling? Oh, a lot of different gift things. We have mugs that have, like, unique sayings. Mm-hmm. Um, Abigail has just recently started putting in some T-shirts uh, so she's very into a lot of different T-shirts with T-shirt designs. So she's doing a T-shirt line there kind of as well. Nice. Um, so just some kind of, you know, different gifts. We have items for baby showers, um, weddings, um, everything. I mean, like I mentioned, I have a wide variety of partners. So, I mean, I can help with larger scheme things of corporate events. So if you're looking for something to give it a corporate giveaway or a walk or something, I can always pull in a different vendor. So if it's not not something I have necessarily on my shelf, I can also help with that additional piece. Which is cool. So where do you think your focus is going to be the most? What is What what will be your um, goal for your biggest part of your business? Is it, will it be weddings? Will it be funerals? Will it be... What do you think it will be? You know, I don't know. Because right now, um, I've had a, a plethora of different, different requests and different asks. And my... My true, honest goal is just to make everybody happy with, you know, the gift of flowers um, yeah. and kind of just share my passion. So I, I love being able to talk about how to, you know, keep your plants and flowers lasting longer so you can enjoy them. Um, I love being able to create the unique design. Um, I love being able to sit down with, you know, a family and plan, you know, whatever their event is, you know, be it. Um, a celebration of life, be it a wedding, a baby shower, a bridal shower, you know, a child's birthday party. Um, so honestly, like, I don't know where my full focus or attention will be drawn to eventually. Right. Um, it'll be drawn to whatever the community kind of needs. Nice. Now, what are your um, um, business hours? Is it by appointment? You guys open, like, have scheduled hours right now? We do. Um, I just recently changed them kind of to fluctuate with what I've noticed with the pattern of traffic downtown. Um, we are closed on Mondays, just because Monday seems to be very quiet in downtown. Which is when we're recording right now, because you're not busy. Correct, <laughs> correct. Um, and then every day of the week we open at 11. Um, I believe we close between, depending on the day, 5 to 6. Okay. Um, and then Sundays we're 11 to 3. Okay. And I think it's great that you're open on Sundays like that. Too, yes. Because I'm sure yes. that's got to be a big day as well. It is. It is. But in addition to having the hours at 
the store, I chose to take my line mobile 100%. Um, so I have a separate personal phone that is strictly for the business. And I think a lot of my customers have really enjoyed the fact that they can text me. Um, even if it's after hours, they can message me on Facebook. Um, and I can respond via you know, Facebook to help kind of take that order. So it can be 9 o'clock at night, which I actually had. Um, somebody at 9 o'clock at night reaching out to grab flowers the next day for a graduation. Sure. Um, so it's, it's amazing to be able to have that technology, too, and yeah. be able to go. So even though I'm closed and it's not my hours, right. somebody can still reach me. Yeah, I appreciate that, too, because I... I don't plan ahead for anything. So <laughs> we're like, oh my gosh, I need flowers for tomorrow. Um, and it's nice that, the, that people have the opportunity to be able to reach out and, and get an answer, at least of when they can get things. Yes. That's yes. awesome. Okay, so um, if people wanted to follow, whether on Facebook, Instagram, where where are your social channels at and what are the names so people can follow? So yes, I am on Facebook under Victoria's Floral. Um, Instagram, it is Victoria's underscore floral 24. Um okay. And then my website is victoriasfloral24.com. And then my email is victoriasfloral24 at gmail. Hey, neighbors, this is Bill Mock with the Grays Lake Chamber of Commerce. And if you're looking for a network of hardworking, customer-focused, and generally friendly local businesses who are dedicated to helping each other succeed, then I'd like to invite you to check out and consider joining our Grays Lake Chamber. We offer our members so many ways to advance their businesses through social networking events, special event sponsorships, informative lunch and learns, and the ever popular after hours mixers. Come see why we say we're the new wave of business here in Lake County. Yeah, Y24, is that your address? Um, So Victoria's Floral was taken. um, So 24 stands for the year that we incorporated. So that was the official year that... See, sometimes we just have to go with what, with what works in there. Um, okay, so I'm going on and following right now. I can't believe if I'm not. Um, but I also, you followed. What's that? I thought you followed already. I probably, I, I better have <laughs> um, for sure. Um, okay, so we're going to do something. Um, have you listened to a lot of podcasts or no? I've listened to a couple. Okay, who understand. have you listened to? Um, well, definitely Dance Connection. Oh, Miss Bridget. <laughs> yes, we absolutely adore her. We listened to the recent Dog and Suds. Yeah. We listened to the recent, drawing a blank. Um, oh yeah, we listened to Sienna. Yeah. Um, we also listened to the superintendent recently. Yeah. Yes. No, the superintendent ones are cool. There's, there's so many things that I, you know, I always say it's amazing after every show that we do, like what everything I don't know. I'm more blown away by everything that that's actually going on in our community that I have no idea what's happening. So. Well, and that's just it. I think like it's a great resource to be able to know like what's going on within the community yeah. and also knowing how you can support as well. Right, and that's what you know we have a lot of focus on trying to do things. There's so many events going on in town that you know we struggle too, and I know a lot of other people that are putting on things in Grace Lake. Like in one weekend, there could be four or five different events that are going on. So. Um, it keeps it interesting, though. It does, but I think it's amazing because then you have a variety of things that you can go to if you can try to attend more than one, or it kind of helps pack up some of the things for the family, right? So you can bring them along and kind of makes planning a little bit easier, I feel. Yeah, no, and there's a lot of things, and there's something for everybody. Yes. From from old to young. Yes. Um, the reason I asked you that is because we do our um, Grace Lake Hot Seat. So she's smiling right now. I'm sure she's super excited. Um, Victoria was not nervous coming in today either. No, not at all. No. No. (laughs) (laughs) As my daughter throws up air quotes. Air quotes, quotes, yes. Um, All right, so we're going to do the um, hot seat, and I'm going to have a couple for you as well. Okay? Sound good? All right, um, so this is uh, Victoria on the Grays Lake hot seat. Um, I'm going to jump around here. So tell me what your first car was ever. My first car was a Buick Regal. Do you have any idea what year it was? 1993. 93, Buick Regal. Um, do you have a hidden talent? Mm. Seems like you do a lot of things, so I'm interested. I do a lot of things. Um, I don't know what my hidden talent would be. Well, let's just keep it hidden for now, then. 
Okay. <laughs> if we think of it, we have it. Uh, what's the first concert you ever attended? Uh, so I didn't go out and do a lot of concerts until I was much, much older. Um, probably, it was probably a Pitbull and J-Lo concert. Nice. <laughs> go big. Start big. That's awesome. Go big or go home. That's right. Um, if you had to have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, more time. I need more time. Definitely. Yeah, kind of just stop everything to get everything yes. done. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you mean. I need, yeah. Because I always want to do so much and I want to do more. So I just need some uh, time. Yes, I know. And then you have you have three girls too, so. Two. Two. Two girls. Okay. So that keeps you busy. Yes. Busy, 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 busy. We actually share a, a name for one of our daughters. That's right, Liliana. <laughs> yeah. And do we spell it the same way too? I think only one letter off or something. Yeah, one letter off. Yes. And you don't meet a whole lot of Lilianas. No. All over the place. Um, tell me a place that you'd like to travel. Um, first, I want to know a place you'd like to travel with um, you and your husband that you haven't been before, and then I want to hear about the kids. I mean, everywhere would be idea, to be honest with you. Um, my husband, I know that he would really love to go and see the Northern Lights. Yes. Um, I would probably love to go to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot of northern lights in Hawaii. <laughs> no, not quite. I mean, I would love to see northern lights as well, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Hawaii for your choice, but very nice that you're thinking of your husband at the same time. Absolutely. And how about with the girls? Dream vacation. Dream vacation. I mean, honestly, anything that we can just spend time together as a family. Um, Disney's always a, a good option, but anywhere we can be together. That's very sweet. Um... Do you have a nickname? I do. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this one. Um, actually, my beautiful bonus daughter gave it to me. It's Toria. Okay, turn the, we got to turn the mic over here. So why Toria? So when I was younger, I couldn't say Victoria. <laughs> so I just said Toria, because that's what I could say at the time. And it just kind of stuck with me. Right, from you, do you still call her Toria? Nice. Okay, so tell me where your vacation would, if you can go anywhere in the world, what would yours be? Um. It's not an easy question. I don't know. I want to go somewhere where there's, like, hot weather, but I wouldn't want to go to, like, anywhere where there's, like, an ocean or a beach. You don't want to go where there's an ocean or beach? You don't yeah. like water? I like water, and I like swimming, but I don't like what can be in the water. Uh, yes. Have you ever seen the movie Jaws? No. Don't ever watch it. Because <laughs> then you'll never swim again anywhere. Um, okay, so... Now, where do you go to school at? I go to Mil Well, I went to Milburn, but now I'm going to Milburn Middle School. Right, so you move from one to the other. Yeah. Which we have that in common, too. Um, okay, so have you listened to a podcast? Do you listen to this? Yeah. Okay, well, well, obviously you like mixed Bridgets, right? Yeah. Um, and then earlier today, on the way here... We actually listened to the Dog and Suds. Oh, one. yeah. Yeah, that was a shorter one. What did you think of that? Um, I mean, we didn't really get that far into it. Right. But, um, like, I, I kind of, like, I'm kind of, like, interested in what happened. Yeah. But, like, they don't get to, like, share, like, everything that happened. Right. So I'm kind of like, come on. <laughs> I want to know everything that happened. <laughs> I think a lot of us do, but there's a good reason that they're not. But, um, so, what is your favorite Crazy Lake event? to go to it sounds like you're um, involved in a lot of stuff with your your dancing so you're in the parade yeah um <clears throat> um well i mean we go to like the halloween like trick-or-treating thing yeah. every year um i don't really know if it counts because like it's not really in gray's lake anymore but we have like our dance recital every year yes um yeah so how was the dance recital this year it was fun yeah that's a big day. You guys do a lot of practice to get that far. Yeah. Yeah. And what are you, are you doing ballet? Is that what I heard? I do, well, like, this year I'm doing ballet, tap, jazz, and then our main production, Spotlight. Wow. And how long have you been doing that? Um, I've been doing, like, dance in general now for, like, I think, like, five, six, or seven years. Nice. Already. Do you think you're going to continue doing that? Yeah. Good. Good. It's a lot of fun. And you get to meet a lot of friends that way, too. Yeah. Um, um, all right, Victoria, um, your favorite Crazy League event? 
Oh, where do you begin? Um, <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> there are. Now, unfortunately, I'm kind of stuck inside working during a lot of them. Um, Most people have no idea what to do with their aging loved one who needs help. Well, there is a solution. A company that provides care and assistance to make your loved one feel right at home. At Right at Home, their mission statement is to improve the quality of life for those they serve. They offer extensive services, personal and companion care, safety supervision and transportation, fall prevention, dressing and bathing assistance, medical reminders, meal prep, hospice support, ambulation support, stroke recovery, Parkinson support. The list goes on and on and on. If you have an aging loved one that needs help, call Right at Home. Most people prefer to age in their home rather than moving to an assisted living or nursing home. Right at Home can make this happen. Contact Right at Home at Right at Home nlc.com or give them a call 847-984-0103 now back to the show probably more of the summer events because i like to be outside yes um so i know there's summer nights coming up um so i'm excited for that one because i'll actually be out and about celebrating with everybody right and that's where they do the battle of the bands and everything right yes so you'll be in the heart of it at your shop there you'll be right in the middle yes yes we'll be out (laughs) that'll be fun yeah, and then we have the um, fireworks coming up too. Yes. That, which is, that's one of my favorites. That's end of this month, I believe. Right? It is the end of yeah. July. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's always fun. It's always fun to see the community come out and how many people and how many people from not our community that come in to, oh, to watch them as well. I mean, that shows a lot of what they're what they're doing anyway. Um, if you had to write a book, what would it be about? We've done a lot of different things. I had a feeling you'd ask this one for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have an extensive background, so I always like to see where people's passions lie. I'd probably gear it more towards um, like a self, self-help self kind of book, like just kind of teaching and empowering you know, young boys and girls, um, positive pathways to follow. Which is cool, and I... I can tell that about you and the reason that you like to have and are planning all these events, too, to bring kids in to show them different creative ways. Yes. Um, and it's nice that you're doing that because I feel like kids spend so much time on their electronics. It's nice to get their hands into something else. Yes, absolutely. My three-year-old is there with me every Saturday, and I love it because I get to watch her fine motor skills of counting how many flowers she'll put in a vase and teaching her how to use you know, clippers correctly, teaching how to water plants. Um, it, it's amazing. Their minds are so little and they absorb so much and they just catch on. Which is just, good and bad sometimes. Yes. Well, <laughs> have to be yes. careful what we say around them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but it must be very cool, especially from a, a three-year-old's perspective to watch um, mom and dad come through and building this business together from getting everything ready to opening the doors to see how things happen. I think so. I mean, as a child, I can remember a lot of my memories, you know, being at my dad's shop. And, you know, my mom was also there helping out a lot of times, too. But I remember, you know, doing weddings and helping my dad with setups and deliveries and even, you know, some of the designing. And there's so much behind um, a floral business from what flowers are in season or where do you get them from. I'm sure you probably get requests for flowers that aren't in season or you can help guide people on which ones, because I'm sure the price fluctuates quite a bit depending on the time of the year. Oh, absolutely. Um, and that's that's completely true. Um, but with being able to pull from different countries, sometimes you're able to get almost any flower that somebody potentially wants. Um, but again, like you said, the price is going to fluctuate. Right. I talked to one florist that I'm friends with, and he said basically the price of flowers is pretty much what the uh, plane ticket is for him to get, to get the flowers over here. Sometimes, yeah, depending upon what you're looking for, um, it can be. But some of your most beautiful flowers also come from overseas. What's your favorite flower, then? Um, A beautiful Ecuadorian rose. So I love roses from Ecuador. They typically are just, they open up so beautifully. Um, Tulips from Holland, those are very beautiful. So it, it, it really depends. I'm... I love a lot of different flowers, but it's kind of where they come from and the quality that they are. Nice. Now, is your father still around? He is. Good. Is he super proud of you? He is. <laughs> <laughs> now, has he been up to see everything? 
He has not. So his health um, kind of keeps him more home side. Right. But I'm sure he's loving the updates of everything and how things are going. He is, absolutely. That's very cool. Um, I like things where people learn from their their parents and and follow a tradition of things that shows how much of impact he made on your life as well. I think um, a lot of our conversations right now are still more of, Dad, I forgot this, or Dad, how do I do this, or Dad, what did you do for this? Right. (laughs) Um, But some of it too, though, is things have changed drastically within the industry um, with the way certain things are put together, the way things are, are done. And so sometimes when I'm learning a new trick or I'm doing something new, I'm also calling him and saying, hey, Dad, did you know that they have this now? <laughs> right. Um, and with your business, too, that I, you know, obviously reasons we do podcast things like this are to make sure that the community knows that we have local shops to do this rather than going to a telefloral or I, I know that um, what, what are some of the advantages of coming to you rather than, you know, doing 1-800-Flowers or whatever it might be. Number one, you're getting the custom design. You can pick whatever you want. Um, Number two, something that's probably not said typically, but you're also paying for that wire service. So you're getting less flowers when you're booking through a telefloral or an FTD because the shop has, you know, other fees to pay and, and things there. So I feel when you're booking directly with a florist, and you're actually going, you know, in or calling or however you want to reach out to me, right? Um, you're getting the full value of what you're purchasing. So you're getting the full value of the vase. You're getting the full value of the flowers versus adding on additional service fees. Sure. Just kind of taking out the middleman, too, because correct. when you order through a place like that, correct me if I'm wrong, but then they work with a local florist to deliver that product to you anyway. Correct. Correct. So they'll take the order via the internet and then they'll send it over to that florist through that wired service if you will and so the florist will get a percentage of it which is why there's typically not so you're paying a lot more than you would have to when you can get better quality and and custom service correct yeah um it brings me back to like reading things or remembering how things were done you know in the past um how things like you have your florist you have your go-to people that are in town um other than doing things that may sound more convenient but it seems like they're wasting money and not getting the service that they need a lot of times yes um and whenever i have somebody who comes in and they're looking to send flowers you know because it's still your local community typically still comes in and they want to send flowers to somebody in a different state instead of me pulling up you know a site like 100 flowers i'll google with them to look for yeah. a smaller, you know, family-owned shop that's local and niched in their community. And I'll look at like, the reviews, and then I'll call the florist direct, and I'll let them know I have a customer here that's looking for flowers, and either I'll help place the order for them and oh, with them, cool. or because well, I want them to get what they want, you yeah. know. So I'll also kind of look through what they're kind of looking for, and then I'll, you know, kind of help the florist already have, like, a plan in place of what my customer is looking to provide no, oh, that's great, and I'm sure people really appreciate that thing of what they, they want. Do. So that's the personal service you get coming to you. They do. Um, what is your busiest day of the year? Um, so being new, I don't know what it'll show forth um, here, but I can tell you when my dad was in business, Valentine's was always very busy. Right. Um, Mother's Day was also always very busy. Around the holidays, also very busy. So. Sure. Um, When you're thinking of, like, the broader picture for Fourth of July, flowers go really well on the table for Fourth of July. Um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, right, those are also very busy times. But you also then have to think about all the different schools that have homecoming. um, They have proms. um, So there's events with, you know, graduation. Um, And then one of my personal favorites this year actually is, um, because both of my daughters do dance, I did a lot of ballet recitals, um, which I loved because we incorporated a lot of different cuter pieces into it. So we have, you know, ballerina balloons and teddy bears with ballet skirts and tiaras. Um, (laughs) Nice. So it's just, I don't know what my busiest will be. Um, Every day can be busy for a florist. Yes. Okay, so you worked with your dad a lot then in the shop. 
I did. I helped out a lot. Okay, so I know guys send um, flowers for a bunch of different reasons. <laughs> One out of love, and some people in the doghouse. Do you have any great funny story for me about any the best card you've seen written or the best flowers you guys had to deliver for any reason? It's funny that you mentioned that because I actually have some old school um, cards from my dad, like the little cards you can fill out. Right. And it actually is a man climbing out of the doghouse. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, funny stories on that. Um, I do know that my dad had a customer when I was younger. They claimed to have purchased the flowers from my dad. Okay. And they were not the quality that my dad would have delivered. So the wife came in and was very upset with the flowers, and she brought them to to my dad. And my dad looked at, took one look at the flowers, and he knew instantly that they were not of his. Um, the florist had what, back in the day, they would sometimes put a wire to kind of help wire up the head to keep the head, you know, staying more sure. straight. Um and my dad said, these are not mine. I would never wire a flower to hold them up. My flowers don't need wires. Um, the wife was pretty adamant. Um, so my dad called, because the customer had purchased from my dad before. So my dad called the husband. Um, and the husband did have to... <laughs> he had to admit. <laughs> admit that he went somewhere else. And then he ended up... Um, having to repurchase, you know, wow. flowers from, right. from my dad's. Um, so there's that one story that I do recall. Yeah. It's funny because florists are like, you know, um, people that maybe get their, their hair done, their nails done. It seems like there's a certain kind of loyalty. Like, where do you get your flowers from? People just don't go to a random place. So um, Correct. hopefully through your grand opening and through people hearing this, that we want to make sure that Victoria's is the place where Grays Lake gets their flowers. I would hope so. Yeah. And it's nice to have the, the support behind stuff and, and not only shopping local, but being able to have someone to support. And I'm sure if I came in and I wanted something, you would be like, no, Dave, you, you should probably do this. And you have the expertise to help guide people. I do. I definitely try to help advise certain things just don't go well together. You don't want to have two different strong, potent smells, you know, in one bouquet. I wouldn't think of that. Um, Color-wise, sometimes, too, just matching of different colors and, and combining things um, height-wise. And then I also try, you know, to make sure that longevity of flowers, you know, you don't want to purchase something that's only going to necessarily last a few days with, you know, other flowers and, you know, the right the right mixture, right? So I want to make sure that everybody's happy. Um, now, naturally, if somebody is adamant and they truly want it, absolutely. But I can only, you know, try to provide... Sure. What I've seen, what I know, um, and share my experience. Yes. Yeah. How many times DJ and weddings or, or anything like that for me, people say, no, we're going to do it this way. And I can give them three different reasons why, from experience, you don't see that. But at the end of the day, we just, you know, exactly. we just do what they'd like us to. Exactly. Make them happy. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. So talking about other events, because the event that you have coming up, um, tell us, the, do you have the date for that event? So our grand opening is the July 11th of 2024. Um, so within, what, two weeks time, yeah. I think? Um, within that, we're also launching, as Abigail mentioned, the first series of our classes. Okay. Um, so those are the two most important Do we have a dates. date for the first uh, for the first event besides the grand opening? Do you have that set yet? So we're still kind of toying with those. We're thinking it'll be almost every Sunday, though, throughout the month of July. Oh, really? So kind of offering yeah, right. that way, you know. If it's raining outside, there's another indoor activity to kind of sure. come on into. Um, so we're working on putting out all the information and creating all of the um, ways to sign up as well. So we want to make it as easy as possible for everybody too. Very cool. And when uh, before we started recording, we talked about your collaboration with uh, the Freeze too. So they're yes. helping out as well. Yes. Um, so we have um, coupons for the free cone um, to hand out at our graduation. Um, and then, in addition, because July is National Ice Cream Month, um, which actually occurred 40 years ago, um, which is kind of crazy to think about it. I like um, that they get a whole month. Yes. Yes. Not not many things get a whole month. There is one specific day um, to it as well in July, but it went it went back in the calendar and they named July the actual official National Ice Cream Month. Um, <laughs> so we'll celebrate all month. 
Um, so any child that comes through our class as well will also receive a free coupon to go and treat themselves to That's a awesome. cone at the freeze. That's great. Um, so you're so people can find out about these events on your Facebook and your Instagram. Things yes, like that. yes, okay. they'll be getting posted very soon. Because they're going to follow right now and make sure that everything's on there. Yes. Um, all right. Anything else that you want to share with us about your business, about um, Gray's Lake? Anything? I know that you're extremely happy to be here, and we're happy to have you. Um, but anything else that the community needs to know about the shop? Just come on in, check us out. We're family friendly. Um, we love kids. We have two of our own. You'll see them there quite often. So um, come in. Nice. Well, we appreciate both of you girls being here today. Um, I appreciate the extra input. It's nice that you have. Um, I really enjoy family businesses and to see when you girls are here and help each other out the support. And it sounds like you have a great husband as well. Let's support I do. you a thousand percent. I do. Yeah. He's an amazing guy. He's typically behind the scenes, but he'll be there on the holidays, the big holidays, to help support with you know, everything. Um, but yeah, everything that's pretty much built in the store has been done by him. Um, anything that's hung has been done by him. Yeah, when I came in, I didn't even get to really meet him because he was on a ladder up in the ceiling <laughs> and installing something for you. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It's nice to keep everybody involved in it. So, um, And folks listening, make sure if you're looking for a florist, let's, let's keep everything, no matter what we're doing, that we shop local because I think it, it makes our town bigger and stronger and it helps our community. So I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate your okay. um, um, to see entrepreneurs that go out and do something to take a big chance to bring value to our community. I think it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Thank you. So, Thank you. All right. So, folks listening, make sure you go follow on Facebook and on Instagram. Where else, too? Is that your main two? Those are my main two. Okay. And they go to the website as well. Absolutely. And we'll post all this in the show notes. So, if you're looking to get a hold, but um, go and stop by. Just yes. that's Because that's what I do. I just barge. I don't even know if you're open then. <laughs> it's probably 9 o'clock at that's night okay. once. We just come to say hello. Yes. That was, um, we were getting things ready for the ballet recital, actually. That's so we had right. both the girls there, and they were helping out. And at one point, they kind of camped out on the floor, and they were sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Sometimes that's, that's how, what we have to do, right? That's how it is. It's family business. So that's all right. hands on deck, and we're in it We're in it together. That's awesome. I appreciate it. It's inspiring. So. Thank you. Um, Grace Lake, wherever you guys are listening, um, do me a favor, whether you're listening on Spotify, whether you're on Apple, whether you're on YouTube, wherever the heck you're listening, um, make sure to subscribe because that way you'll be alerted every week. Uh, when a new episode comes out. And we have some really fun ones, and my, one of my favorite things is to feature new businesses that come. Um, and it's kind of fun to even to listen to this back a year from now and, and see where you're at, so we'll have to follow up and check in with you. Thank um, you. So thank you, girls, again. I appreciate you. Um, and as, as I always end, Grace, like, make sure that you remember we don't know what um, our friends or family are going through on a day-to-day basis. So I'm going to encourage everybody to go out, do one random act of kindness, um, and as one of the last girls said, even pick up the phone and text somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time to reach out to say hello, because um, it can make a big difference. And I know we all have bad days, so it's nice to uh, reach together, because the reason we do this is to build community. So keep it up. Take the challenge of uh, one or two random acts of kindness today. So, um, Grace Lake, we um, enjoyed having you guys here today. Thank you for um, having us. Uh, my pleasure. And we'll see you next Tuesday, everybody.